Hi, you are looking at video 28 in the making. Uh, this is this is my invention at this. This is actually the uh, prototype from the uh, uh, video. Let's see, over Unity one and over Unity five. Back here's the uh, concept, and then I'm just working with a smaller version of it right now. Kind of got this. Actually, there's two prototypes. The one on the right that you're looking at is a commercial prototype, and the one that you're looking on the left is my concept prototype. I've upgraded it, and I was just uh, trying to get it to go. We can just kind of like take a look at this thing here. As you can see, uh, it's got uh, different things in there. Here's a like a little flywheel that's extra heavy down inside of here. There's another bigger flywheel down inside of here. And it's just got two gear changes. I don't want to get into like three gear changes and stuff. As you noticed, uh, also too, I made a lot of improvements. See how high this orbit height is compared to this one right here? See how close that magnets are to that one over on this side here. There's not that much space in between there. Right here, it's much higher orbit height. I found out that I could put these bigger magnets in there and make a much higher orbit height on this unit, Nat. So I, I made quite a few improvements. Uh, and I also want you to see when it's running in that. Okay, we're going to take a close look at this thing. And uh, this is uh, a motor, Nat. This thing I don't claim to be over Unity. Um, it doesn't have to be over Unity. I mean, I'm trying to talk to people. Let's just get off the over Unity thing. I don't really care. At this point, there's like uh, 746 watts that make a horsepower can, as at 100%. And when you look at other ones, you know, generators and that, that's been made by Tesla and all that, uh, off of his design, and most of these, all these other over Unity things are just nothing but spinoffs. So, actually, I'm trying to get, break into the 700 range. Right now, you're probably getting maybe 400 out of 746 watts. And that's not very efficient. Uh, you go to your stores or whatever, and, and you notice that uh, most of those are only putting out not very much, and it's not very efficient. I'm going to fire this up here, and I'm going to have some little bit of demonstrations in that. Uh, first, I want to tell you this has uh, two like two frequency ranges, and I'll kind of explain how this works. I discovered. I'll start with the the first. As you notice, it's starting to turn. As you notice, the lever arm's starting to hit right away. This is the first frequency that's coming up, and that's basically what you've seen a lot of them before. I got this new uh, rotation system here, which. Kind of, I'm not sure if it helps anything, but it's just something I ran into and I'm trying to do it. As you notice, watch, watch, all of a sudden the rubber arms will stop. Okay, we'll go slow it down. Okay, now you, what you seen there was the first frequency level. Now, I'm going to show you the second frequency level that's coming up. I'm going to fire this up again. Okay, there's the first frequency. Now watch these lever arms. See how it stopped there? It stopped oscillating. So at that power range, I was hitting it, it came out of the first frequency. Now I'm going to put it into the second frequency level. Watch. See it now. Watch the lever arm. 
Now watch, they'll really speed up. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to continue speeding it up. Even more. So what happens is these things are rotating. See what it is is this isn't anything to do with uh, wires or anything, you know. I mean, actually, it's just this magnet goes around here and taps it. If I uh, I could keep doing this with my finger all day. You can see that. I mean, any one of these will just oscillate. If you can keep doing that, all it is is just keeping it in time and that. On that, as you could see. Uh, to explain a little better, let me pull this magnet out of here. this one out of here and pull this magnet out of here okay as you can see as as this thing rotates this magnet here I'm sorry okay as you see this thing rotates see how it comes up and then it pulls itself up into that magnet and then it comes it pulls it back down pulls it around now watch it'll come right into place where that magnet is boom and then it goes around and boom comes into the magnet comes around it's just that's all it's doing and there's two magnets on each side which down inside here you can see there's a magnet on this side there's a magnet on that side it's it's not anything to do with uh, like what people are saying but uh, it, it, it's just showing how this thing works and that as that keeps coming up there, it keeps hitting these magnets and stuff and that. And that's how it oscillates. It's, uh, I can put this back in here. Let me put these magnets back in here real quick. And you just got to make sure they're the right way. And this one's, I've got to put it upside down. Put it back in there. this back in here put this magnet over here right here magnets back inside of here 
These are just like little set screws. And back. You're back again. Whoops. Let me tighten this baby up. And this one up. I put them on both sides so it's in there firmly. This one's not quite down all the way. Okay, anyhow, that's how it works and stuff. We put these magnets down inside there, and it runs that way. And it, as you notice, when it was running, you seen like these little visions in it. That was because it was, uh, it, it, it gives this optical illusion that, that it's running real slowly, but it's like, you know, when you take a look at it and the wheel, uh, looks like it's, you know, when you take a look at an image, it looks like it's running backwards. Down the side here, I'm going to put my new coils in here. Um, over here, we'll just take a look at this. So I put these self-adjusting coils down inside of here. So I'm going to build some new coils, and I'm going to start building that ever since I got to run. I got it. Uh, I got it out of this nylon here, and I think this is Delron. If I remember right, I got some tubes of this stuff here, uh, in which I'm going to start making up some of the coils. They were kind of made out of something that wasn't so good. Uh, my coils. Let's see, where were they? Yeah, it was like this here. I made them out of a... I just made it out of the conduit and all this, that one I was testing and that. So I'm going to build a new high output one. There's a magnet in here in the bottom to repel it out. Uh, incidentally, here was the magnet in here. Kind of went down and side of here this is uh, part of what I was making in that and uh, I'm going to start making these new high output coils and see what it does in that. It, it oscillates at very fast speeds and stuff in that. Uh, this has like two gear changes down inside of here. There's one gear down inside here so there's just and one big gear so it's uh, and this motor here, I just got it, it's just like a utility pump motor, you can get them over at uh, Harbor Freight, nothing fancy, 12 volt. It was putting out uh, approximately 12 watts, I wasn't putting that much into it. I only got just the two amps. Right there. Uh, two amps right there. That's 12 volts. It's not very much. And the reason why this is different is because it uh, most of them they have this rotation in that. This has an oscillation, so you're not going to get that uh, lenses law in there. I mean, how are you going? Uh, what what is the insanity is doing the same thing over and over again? Everything, buddy's doing the same thing. Basically, what Tesla's doing over and over again, and you expect a different result, and that's not going to happen. You have to do something different. There's absolutely no physics laws or a documented physics that shows you with a lever arm oscillating and this coming around here like that. There's nothing in any physics books. So it's so different there is absolutely no physics books that has this information in it. The, you know how to oscillate, how far these magnets are, the, the, the balance of this lever arm. You know there is nothing. And, I th and you could extend this out much further with more things and not, it's just a centrifugal force that runs this. So you're not going to have that to slow down. So I'm going to close it out here. We're running out of time and I'll be back with you for with more videos. I'll let you go and have a good day. Thank you.
for your time.